Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Well, hello everyone and welcome to something a little bit new. So yeah, this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, I've had the game for a little while, not too long, but I've been watching it since it first came out. Um, I've always thought it was interesting. I've always wanted to play it and I just was looking for an opportunity. Let's turn down the music a little bit. Actually, can we go into settings? Let's take a look at the settings. <laughs> I did go in and I, I, I set up my graphics and all of that sort of stuff, but I haven't done, I have not played the game yet. There we go. A little bit of music, but not too much. I'm going to keep it in. We'll keep the cutscenes in and all that sort of stuff as well. There we go. Save changes, yes. All right, so, um, yes. Uh, by the way, uh, I did do a little bit of stuff. I, I know a little bit of the history, but not I, by no means do I know the individuals and, and such. Uh, Wenceslas IV did exist. Uh, he was deposed uh, by his half-brother, Sigismund. Um, now, when, this Wenceslas is not the uh, Wenceslas of fame, the good king Wenceslas. That was, uh, he was about 400 years earlier. <laughs> he was Wenceslas I. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so it it does seem like they the the developers are trying very hard to be very period accurate period specific and you know we're gonna find out i mean i the, everything i've heard is that this is true some of you have played this game uh i'm gonna warn you up front i have as i said not i have not even fired this up so you're going to be seeing me try to get used to it. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> like all of these sorts of things, uh, I do not min-max things. I do not try to do, I do not try to play, you know, uh, the best game. I, I, I try to have fun. I like to enjoy it. I like, and you know, sometimes I take my time. Sometimes I don't. All right, let's just continue. And we're going to make a new game. <laughs> we're not continuing because we got nothing to continue. I'm going to go with normal mode because, well, I'm normal. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> uh, Warhorse is the developer, of course. Oh, it's very pretty. I know this is a cutscene, but it's still very pretty. I, I do have high hopes for this, by the way. Because uh, it, it really does look like it has some depth. I'm going to turn that down. Silver Scalets, 1403. That's a very nice little town. Look at that. It's positively lovely. Got a little castle. All right. Kingdom Come Deliverance.
Now, apparently we play Henry. Uh, Henry is the... I, I don't know the full details, so we're going to find out together uh, what the deal is with Henry. But that was the voice that you heard in the intro when he said, uh, this is where... Oh, mining. Ooh, this is... Uh, oh, that's a hard life. Okay, so they had a little bit of this. Get some knights. Um, okay, don't know who that is. Got a little house on the hill. Nice view. Must be important people. God bless. Okay. She seems to be important, so that's kind of interesting. Got her little her basket of goods. Yeah. Oh, I, I if this is the way the graphics are, I'm I am color me happy. I am well, very husband, impressed. Oh. How goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. Ah. Uh. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour. Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks <laughs> like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> this is mom and dad I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mom and dad to a teenage son. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's okay. <laughs> He'll grow up. <laughs> Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Uh, not there. Not now. Mm. Get up or I'll come get you up, you sugar bread. <laughs> Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Oh. Wait, what's this? Yeah, what's his hand? What's going on there? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <laughs> <sighs> and here we see the teenager in his natural state, yawning. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, we got a bit of a cutscene. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? All right, so character. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you are not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. Okay, well, that's interesting. So rather than have a character building screen... Um, it appears that we are using a dialogue to sort of try to choose what our starting abilities are. Now, um, we've got speech, agility. Now, can I use the mouse for this? No, but can, I can use the keyboard. All right, that's fine. So uh, we were chatting in the cavern, uh, tav cavern, tavern, so speech, uh, dancing for agility with Bianca, <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming, Vitality, oh, I'm, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming that Bianca is his lady friend. Um, <laughs> I was working in the forge for strength. Um, well, I don't really know. The, this is a kind of a tough one. It does say that I shouldn't be too worried about it. Um, I do plan on playing a, you know what, I'm going to go with Vitality. Why? Because uh, now I, I plan on playing. My understanding is you can play stealth uh, and assassinations and all that sort of stuff. I do not plan on playing it that way. It's never really, really been a play style that I'm very good at or that really it sort of attracts me. Um, I'm going to try to play. I'm, I'm probably going to play it pretty straightforward. So I think vitality or strength would be good. Agility would be nice as well. So, oh, man. Okay, you know what? Let's just. I was with Bianca. We were um, talking. Talking, <laughs> talking were oh, you? Oh, was that it? That's okay. That's what you call it, is it? <laughs> Stop it, Ma. 
<laughs> well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Okay, so that must have been the guy that we saw on the hor on horseback. Because it did seem to um, highlight him a little bit. So we get another opportunity to pick some of our strengths. So we've already picked vitality, um, speech. Uh, why would I be interested in sword fighting? Hmm, okay. Uh, archery. Oh, I like archery. Now, what, is it, what does it matter? You know what? I'm going to go with the classic... Uh, defiant. <laughs> you don't. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> so I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal! You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he gonna do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head, be it then. I can't stop you, and you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. All right. So <clears throat> we have an objective, a quest. I guess it's a very simple early quest. Uh, go to go to our father uh, and go to learn, go to the sword, sword fight, sword, sword fighting lesson. Okay. So uh, have my friends been here? I'm hungry. Okay. On your head. Oh, right. All right. All right. So have my friends been here? I'm hungry. Is Pa angry with me? Do you need help and dialogue? Um, you know what? Can I get something to eat? <laughs> Classic. Have some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. <laughs> uh, have my friends been Did here? Matthew okay. And Fritz come looking for me. No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere as usual. <laughs> oh, leave it be. You're misjudging them. Actually, I don't know that. <laughs> my friends aren't drunks. <laughs> my friends aren't Matthew drunks. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. <laughs> I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once, too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Okay, give me an example. Of he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday, you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. Yeah. Yeah. No. And you know what? Like most good sons, you'd want to please your father, so. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday, you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzi. Oh, that's not good. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. All right. So, uh, well, let's let's just do the dialogue. Let's uh, let's say ask need me to do anything, if Ma. she needs any help. Ah, you're a good lad, but I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. All right. Uh, so we've already done... Okay, we've done these. So that's just... Uh, yeah. All right, cool. So we've discovered Scalettes. You've reached a new level in strength. A new per perk point is available. I will be looking into this. Now, I do understand, I believe, that, you, that food is a thing. So to eat, to eat any food, pick it up. Uh, in the inventory, t uh, there's a tab for food. Select what you want to eat. And then, okay, hold E. I for inventory. All right, so pick it up as E. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right, it's a bit weird. He's putting his hand through the apple. But you know what? We're not going to judge. We're not judging here. Eh. It's, we're going to stand up. We're, we're so unjudgmental, we're going to stand on the table. Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. What do we got here? Right. Okay, mysterious bag. Uh, we've got, oh, bread. Oh, I like bread. Bread's good. Yeah, this looks like good bread, too. I'm gonna grab some apples. Uh, you know what? Uh, I, I'm gonna assume that, that food's important. So I'm just gonna take all of it. <laughs> um, okay, just so you know, uh, anybody who, well, okay. Anybody who's, ha who's uh, had um, teenagers, uh, boys, really more specifically. Yeah, they're, they're eating machines. 
<laughs> they'll eat everything. So this is case in point. Um, yeah, he's like a shark going around the uh, around here, just eating everything in sight. It's pretty normal, actually. Oh, we got some, uh, looks like lentils. I think that was lentils. It said lentils, didn't it? I like lentils. Lentils are good. All right. I don't think there's, well, let's just see if there's anything else that's kind of interesting. Oh, we got a box here. Oh, I just tried to crouch and it says, Stealth, if you want to sneak somewhere, sneak in somewhere, make sure no one sees or hears you. Uh, whether you're seen or not depends on the light of your and your clothing. Okay. Whether they hear you depends on the surface you're moving on. Oh, and your attire. Okay, so that makes sense, actually. Can we open this? Nails for Teresa. What is that? Can I get more information about this stuff? Oh, item info is Q. Ew. Okay, we don't know what that is. Bandage. Marigold. De 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 okay, you know what? This stuff all looks kind of important. Quest item. Oh, these are quest items. Okay, now I do have a. Uh, I have. It looks like I have carry weight. So my current weight is uh, nine point eight, and uh, out of a maximum of seventy four, I am currently penniless. <laughs> I do not have any. I have no weapons, no armor. Um, oh, this food is on me. Oh, I. I have. Oh no! This is in this is the in, in the inventory. All right. So and then to take it all, let's just hold down E. We're gonna we're just gonna grab it. Why? It's it's our stuff. Why not? We're we're not stealing. It's see. Hang on. Let's take a look at our inventory. Let's, oh, oh! I like this. This is this this here. This is particularly cool. Oh, look at this! This is your hunger meter. Oh, 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 oh that is well done. So we don't have to eat right now. Uh, we currently have a red scarf, a green shirt. Uh, okay, that we don't have anything there. All right, so these are pre-assigned slots for ind independent things. We've got our main hand, off hand. This appears to be the our weapons loadout. Uh, this is okay. Uh, helmet, quaff, which is from if we remember from Medieval Dynasty, kind of a soft hat, I guess. Chainmail and a neck chain. We've got. We're wearing boots and hose. Boots and hose and boots and hose. Okay. And then we've got uh, chain mail. So we have, there's armor slots. There's clothing slots. Um, here's our, oh, wow, we, our strength is two. We are, uh, we are but a lamb in the world. Wow. Okay. So we did not really get, uh, <laughs> we're, we're pretty weak. Um, my speed is good though. I'm fast. Okay. Uh, health, energy, and nourishment. So nourishment is 39, but it does look like, is this, is this, I'm super hungry or is it, I'm, you know what? Let's try eating something and see, and see what that does. Bread's usually pretty filling. It said to hold down, no, not R, hold down E. Okay. It looks like, hang on, I'm going to eat again. Uh-huh. I don't really, okay. It's disappeared. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. 53 is nourishment. Is it up to 100? I'm guessing it's up to 100. So maybe we could have a bit of cheese. 63. Okay, 73. And then maybe an apple. Because, you know, you got to eat your fruit. What's this? Healing? Oh, apples give you heal. Okay, I'm guessing if you get over a certain level of nourishment, perhaps that means that... Uh, oh, my energy is going down. Is that is that true? Hang on, I'm going to eat another apple. Nope, no, it isn't. Oh, we've got double healing. That's better than single healing. All right, I think 77 is good enough for now. Um, you know what? Let's take a look at our inventory one more time and just see what else we've got. This is all of our stuff. Uh, we do have trunk keys. Oh, that's so we can get into our own trunk. So that was our stuff that we just took. So yeah, that's not that's not stealing. Uh, armor. So the clothing is considered armor. Fair enough. Quest items. Nails for Teresa. We still have no idea what that is. Um, oh, no, no, no. Okay. And then other. Uh, a bandage, door keys, and uh, door keys and trunk keys. Okay. So we have the player. So this is my, all my, oh, these are all like my different uh, speech charisma. Okay. Combat. Skills. We've got drinking skills. <laughs> uh, what are you good at, sir? Um, drinking. 
I'm highly skilled. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fine. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure there's a, it's probably, it makes sense. Oh, there's a plus. Can you, <gasps> oh, oh, okay. So we've got, uh, under each of these skills, we've got, okay, this is your tech tree. So, uh, Bacchus. So that's, <laughs> Bacchus is the, isn't that he, the, like the god of, uh, never mind. I don't, I can't remember exactly. Uh, you'll never drink yourself into oblivion, but the negative effects of your hangover will be 30% stronger. Can't be combined with safe passage. So these are little perks and things. That's kind of cool. All right. I can get behind this. Reading. Can I read? No. <laughs> Level zero. <laughs> I cannot read. All right. Let's see what we have then. Skills. Al oh, there's alchemy in this game? The better your mastery of alchemy, the easier it is to uh, brew potions, uh, even if you make a minor mistake. A uh, master who adheres carefully to the recipe, on the other hand, can make up to three points uh, from the same ingredient as one. Oh. Cured food, water of life. He so you can make healing potions, uh, fill you up 30%. Oh, fill you up, which means you can drink more of them. Oh, I see. So that you can drink too much. Oh, okay. Trial and error. Uh, oh, it allows you to make mistakes when you're crafting. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> I'm going to make mistakes. So that's actually really good. Venomous blade. That's pretty self-explanatory. Snake oil salesman potions you brew yourself have 20% higher selling price. Okay, that's actually pretty good, but Bundle Alchemist. When you successfully brew a potion, you'll get one extra. Doesn't apply to auto-brew. That's kind of cool. Routine. Auto brew. You can now auto-brew potions. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, you've brewed once before, but you can only brew one. And auto-brewing three will produce three potions. Oh, three for the price of one. Oh, that sounds rather old. That's kind of overpowered, actually. <laughs> So um, I, I'll tell you why I'm so interested in alchemy. I, I did play a bit of Skyrim. Well, a few hundred hours. Well, yeah, a lot, by the way. Yeah, let's not get into that. Uh, I loved alchemy in Skyrim. Uh, I loved alchemy, and I loved making my own uh, tool weapons and stuff like that. So so this that's why I'm looking at that. I'm, and then, oh, so herbalism kind of sounds good. Um, you can collect herbs. Oh, this does sound like Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, you can collect... Uh, herbs and uh, this means that you're able to gather plants okay so it's efficiency for gathering plants um oh hey if you get if you smell nice you get a charisma bonus <laughs> nice um your horse has enough friend it's saddlebag will shy less will shy less does that i'm not sure what that means is that shy as in like tip like be hmm, okay uh botanist um you can sell herbs you have okay at 15 percent higher price that's probably pretty good i'll bet you selling herbs is a great way to earn money leg day herb picking activity will add experience to your strength stat oh that sounds actually really that sounds good okay you know what we're gonna go through that more later i'll go maybe a little bit more off camera in the meantime we do have a uh... oh e open the door Phew. nice well before we go out there what's this let's open this door and see what's in here Okay, we've got a storeroom. It's got, like, a bunch of apples that we cannot grab. Okay, that's fine. Oh, open. Oh, it's got an... A okay. No, we won't... Oh, did I already grab the apple? Oh, maybe I did. Uh, I don't want to be a glutton. I mean, you know, this is the family home. Maybe... Well, okay, maybe we can... We can grab an... Uh, we'll take one apple. Oh, there's 15. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to take... That's it. I'm not taking any more. This is my family. I, I feel bad. Okay. I feel bad. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Got, uh, firewood, a little wheelbarrow, a ladder. Okay. This is cool. Got a scythe. Nice, nice. All right. Close the door. We're, we're going to close the door behind us because we're not animals. There you go. Okay, so the compass will tell you where to go in a quest you are pursuing. Just head for the active objective waypoint. Nice. So we're going to we're gonna go to Dad. Well, I'm going to assume that he was a blacksmith based on the fact that he was making a sword. And, uh, yeah, there he is. That's him. That looks like Dad. Hi, Dad. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't Nothing. you hear me calling you? Maybe. <laughs> 
Um, sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals when talking to people. You can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. So there's like a little mouth thing. So you can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at the moment with the person you're talking to. It sounds like I don't have a great rep with my dad right now. Uh, so <clears throat> that looks like a crown. In the Middle Ages, social status. Okay, social status was paramount. So the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are together with your reputation can make a big difference on how you, how people respond to you. Okay, so the first one is your reputation. The second is your presentation, as in how presentable are you? Uh, then there's the sorty things. Uh, if you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign uh, risky tasks to you. Uh, that's influenced mainly by your strength and determination and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment, but also, uh, but other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. So this is like, I think that's like a, how menacing you are. And then, or how dangerous you are. Uh, you can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. Oh, bribes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna, all right. Uh, you just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in this, yeah, it's bribing. In the same way as shopping. <laughs> it's like shopping for help or for your way um, and then there's like a little horsey thing in in special cases you can try other skills such as horsemanship okay cool so the interesting ones though I think is this speech reputation and menacing I'm gonna go with menacing I don't know what that what the game actually says it is uh, it's not only a matter of persuasion that's important but also the specific offer because sometimes it's not enough to choose according to your highest characteristics you have to be you have to really read what you're going to say. Okay. And it looks like I can go to a... Whoa! Holy moly. Uh, okay, persuasion. <clears throat> so this is a persuasion mechanic. Different approaches work on different people. You, you won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, but no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. Hmm... That's because Henry's abilities aren't assigned a universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart, you can see the values of various abilities. Ah, it's relative. Uh, various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible to you if it's someone that you know well or if you're skilled at reading people. So there's an empath empathetic skill. So that, that, that sounds familiar too. So there's my money, the amount you have to pay. Oh, jeez, <laughs> no. Speech. Oh, it's strength. Okay, so the swords were strength. Uh, speech level. Okay, so I have speech of three and the guard. This is a sample. So basically it says it's not about the stats, though. The outcome is influenced by other factors. I'm looking on the left-hand side there. Uh, E.g., your reputation, whether you're dirty or bleeding. If you can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant, for example, you may want to poison him with a poison him a little first, and then he'll be easier to persuade. Oh, geez. Or if you lead a guard away from his friends, he'll be easier to scare. That's yeah, sure. That's like you you cut you know you you go for the sh the weak link, right? So the level of your reputation with your counterpart is twenty. Okay, so there's your rep on the left. Then there's your speech. Uh, charisma and strength versus the guards speech charisma and strength okay all right okay um this is dear old dad now dear old dad is two 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 i don't know what those little symbols are but uh 100 he holds me in oh didn't you hear me calling you um no 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 how about we'll go with um no we're just going to be honest his dad. Um, I had to do something. Sorry. I had to go and deal with something. Well, it's no great tragedy. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. Oh. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. 
If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. <laughs> sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. <laughs> you don't understand me, Dad. <laughs> All right, so uh, quest log. You can find about the quest in oh, clarity in the map, etc., etc. So the J is quest log, so journal. And Emma's map. All right, that's cool. So we can look at the journal. And um, this is what we're working on right now. Uh, oh. Oh, wow. This gives you quite a bit of detail. Oh. Okay, well, I'm not going to read this on camera. This, holy moly, this is deep. I'm going to be honest with you. This is a lot deeper than I thought it was. Okay, so he has to go to the market. So this is, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah buy charcoal, um, got to get the money from Kanesh, who owes father money. So this is essentially the what, what we've already discussed. So that's fine. Um, and then we've got a map. We can go to M. Oh, oh that's a nice... Oh, look at that. Is, look how they did the fog of war. Oh, that is cool. It's like little pencil drawn. Woo! Oh, that is so cool. I love it. Oh, and look at the little... Look, I, I look like a little character. And there's I'm at the there's a grindstone. What else we got here? So, A is the charcoal, but we can't go there first. We have to go to no, that's the cross guard. We'll get that later. So we're gonna go collect a, uh, the debt from Kunesh. Well, who's this over here? Oh, that's Scalets. No, 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 no. We want to go here. Okay. All right. So let's go to let's go to C. I think we need to do C. So C is down that way. Oh. Oh, cool. Do we go this way? Oh, man. Oh, look how this looks. So we live right here, just below the, the big house. That's kind of cool. I love the... I like the... Oh, this is really neat. Hey, bud. How's it going? He's a villager. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go and get uh, get some cash from that... Uh, lay, that, uh, that no good... Uh, what was it? Hey, welcome. Thank you. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, they like me here. <laughs> oh, there's a traitor. Okay, so there's a codex. Ooh, there's a codex. So this is everything you ever wanted to know. Okay, so this is the help system. Events, characters. There's Wenceslas, Charles IV, the Pope, tutorials. Alchemy. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to look into this in a little bit. But let's just uh, let's just deal with um, the matter at hand. C, is he in... Where is he? Hey. Oh, hey, chickens. No, oh, no, no, don't. Oh, oh. Is this Kunish? This is Kunish. Hey. Yo. God be with you, Kunish. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Pay for the tools. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Um... No, we're just going to do the... He, Dad said to say you'll expect a visit from him. If that's the way you want it. I'll tell Father you won't pay, and you can tell him what you told me. And don't come back. Oh! Wait a minute. Uh, okay, most of the quests can be completed in different ways. Some people can be persuaded. Some can be robbed. Oh. Oh. Okay, I, I missed out. I didn't read that very quickly. All right. Um, no, he's not talking to me. 
Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. Let's take a look at this here. Uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> Try to get... Okay, so it's optional. Try to get the axe, hammer, and nails back another way. I don't know if I want to do that, do I? Axe, hammer, and nails. Another way. Well, I'm going to say that that right there is the axe. Hmm. Where's the hammer? Oh, we can't go in his house. I don't want to go in his house. So let's see if there are any... If there's... Hey, horses! Hey, guys! Let's see if the hammer and nails are at least somewhere uh, accessible. I don't know if I want to do this. It is optional. Um, I do need to get charcoal, though. Maybe I could find a way to earn some cash. Uh, oh, I could wash myself. How does that work? E. You won't get cleaner from... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm already clean. Uh, all right. It looks like there, he, he... I can't get the hand... I'd have to break into his house, and I'm not that kind of dude, so we're not going to break into his house. So uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Let's take a look at what else we need to do. So we're going <clears> to... <throat> we need to buy a, a bag of charcoal, which means that we need some money. Uh, I believe there was a... Here, let's take a look at something. Let's look at the map. And there was something about a merch... Oh, there's a trader. So the trader is... Uh, okay. Over here? Oh, there's a trader there. Okay. And he's got some Welcome, dude Henry. outside. Welcome, Henry. Oh, you discovered the grocer. Okay. You, oh, yep. I'm sorry. I'll be back later. Wait a minute. Is that mom? No, that's the trader. Man, she's dressed very... She looks like mom. All right, let's see if we can... Hmm, what is... How are we going to handle this? Uh, I'm going to try something. I'm going to see if I can... Ooh, nettles. Uh, we're we're going to... I'm going to... I am... I'm channeling my inner medieval dynasty. And seeing if I can go out and, and pick some stuff randomly out here. What is this? Sage. Okay, let's try. Can I gather sage? Maybe we could, like, um, just uh, gather some materials, uh, make a little bit of cash. We'll show some ingenuity to dear old dad, right? So that he, uh, that he, he, he think, you know, we solved the problem. Uh, you know, his, his, uh, his little, uh, drunk friend there is, uh, is a bit of a jerk, so we're just gonna have to solve the problem our own way. This is, uh,. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I love the cutscene. It's like, <laughs> hey, I've reached a new, new level in herbalism. Okay. Um, I assume that nettles are actually useful too. Uh, I do know that, you know, like the nettle, net, nettle tea, her, sage, of course, is sage, right? I mean, like it's a, it's used for all kinds of things. But um, her uh, nettle is used for like nettle tea. I think it does have some medicinal properties. And uh, so we might want to go back and grab some nettles as well. The only problem is that um, nettles do sting quite heavily. All right. I don't know how much I'm going to need for the coal. But where was the nettles? They were somewhere over. Oh, here they are. Okay. It's, all right. This is going to hurt. Ah! Ah! I've been stung by nettles before. I hate it. Got these little tiny evil needly kind of things underneath their leaves it's just ah and you get the white welts and oh my god i can't believe i'm making henry do this hey new level you know what i'm building up uh i'm building up a uh some some of my skills this is kind of cool that's it henry you're doing squats <laughs> you know what i just realized didn't it say something about there's a like a perk in in herbalism that you can gain strength by picking herbs i think i understand why it's like <laughs> it's like, and down, and up, and down, and up. <laughs> okay, I know this isn't scintillating, but um, you know what? This is actually kind of cool. Ooh, can I, what are these? St. John's Wort. Oh, that's classic. Those are classic. It's a classic medicinal, medicinal herb. I bet you we could probably get some cashy money for this. All right. So, um... 
Uh, I assume I don't know if we can sell this stuff at a, at a at the grocer, um, but maybe we could sell. Is there maybe a herbalist somewhere in the village here? What's this over here? More nettles. Okay. So there's a lot of nettles. Holy moly! There's no shortage of them. Okay. So let's. I think we've got. Wow! I've got a new level in herbalism. All right. I think I've got a bunch of stuff. Some some materials here. What's that? That is what they call a stick. Okay. Let's just cruise around town and see if there's any oh there's a oh is that the tavern yes that looks like a frothy foamy ale if i ever saw one we've got vegetable sellers here uh let's see these are for water baskets for goods okay torches for the night i have it all linens and blacksmithy type you know oh tailor's kits so repair thingies uh, we've got foodie, food items. Let's see what else we got here. This place is so cool. I'm really liking the, the, the way this... Oh, that looks private. Although we might just sneak over there. Oh, we've got a guard. Yeah, let's not uh, let's not go after him. What's over here? Actually, is there anything else? We, what's on, what else is on the map? What's this down here? Let's go find out. I know I'm supposed to be doing something for dear old dad, but... Uh, I'm a, you know, I am a, I am a young strapping teenage boy, and I am easily distracted from my tasks. Oh, hey, who's this? It's a villager. With a, okay. Cabbages! Oh, sweet! Oh, that doesn't, that smells, that, that, that looks like it would smell bad. Okay, can I get out of here? Am I trapped behind this, uh, okay, we can get through here. Okay. Oh, don't walk through his field. Okay, another Oh, that's Adam. Oh, I know him, apparently. We'll have to we'll have to catch up later. Okay, there's apparently gates again with um Alright. Alright, I think it it's it's looking like that trader is probably the one place in town where I might be able to unload some of these herbs that I picked up. And uh oh, why is everything looking weird? Oh, stamina! Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. All right, let's go into the trader. I think we've, uh... Let's see. Talk to the trader. Good day to you. What do you need? Well, uh, how about let's talk trade? <laughs> uh, let me see what I've got. Uh, she... Well, what I have... Oh, can I... Is there... Oh. Can I not sell things to a trader? I mean, I could... Uh, she has... Look at that. She's got stuff. How much is St. John's Wart? Oh, it's price... Oh, one coin. So I'm pro my purchase price is going to be a little bit uh, worse. So, Okay, so add to basket, check basket, item info, cycle tabs, etc. Can I... Let's talk trade. Goodbye. Oh, sell! Oh, for crying out loud, just look up, Ono. <laughs> Seriously. Food? No. Weapons, armor, all. Nettles. Okay. Now, if I wanted to E, add to basket, and we want to sell all of them, 23 nettles. Okay. And we got some sage. We're going to sell 14. Oh, I get 6.5 co coins. And St. John's wart. Got six of them. 7.7. Is there anything else? Oh, that's all I've got? Oh, man. I'm not selling my pants. Uh, lentil soup. I'm not selling... I know what this is. I've heard enough about the game to know what that is. It's it's uh, the game's way of doing save anytime. So, yeah. Uh, that. But I don't really know much more beyond it. Uh, we've got a bandage. I think that's good. So, how much... Uh, we have 7.7. .7. Okay. So, how about we... Check basket, basket. So here's our basket. So let's just close the deal. I'm not feeling like I want to haggle. Um, these people know me. There we go. Thank you. And I'm supposed to get coal. So if we take a look at my journal. All right. So I, I really want to go to my sword fighting lesson. Uh, but we're going to go to buy a bag of charcoal at the market. Let's find out how much it costs. So we need 10 charcoal and at A over here. Oh, the market is elsewhere. Oh, 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 is this the... 
This doesn't look like a market. This looks like a bad place. Wait a minute. Hey, can I go look at the map? What's the map? I'm at the market. Oh. Oh, here's he's the charcoal. Oh, that's charcoal right there. Okay, so let's see how much charcoal costs. God be with you. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's talk trade. And charcoal is 0.5. So uh, how much can I get? Let's um, buy an E. I can get... I need 10. I pay 5. I can get 10 charcoal. Ha <laughs> ha! Ingenuity! All right, so I think that's good. I'm just going to get the 10 charcoal. Okay, and then we go to basket, and I think we're just going to close the deal. Hey, thank you. Look at that. We, we bought charcoal. Okay, what do we do? What do we got next here? Um, so we're going to pick up the cross guard at the castle. Now, the castle, is that the thing up on the hill? I'm assuming it is. D. Um, yeah, let's do that first, because uh, dear old dad wanted uh, his ale nice and cool. And uh, I get the feeling that when I go into the thing, I'm going to meet up with Bianca. And I understand how these things work. Uh, I'm going to get delayed. <laughs> it's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, guys. Can I go through? Okay. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. Oh, he knows who I am, of course. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <laughs> Where shall I start? <laughs> ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. <laughs> right away, your lordship. <laughs> They're obviously friends. Okay, so he got the... Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. All right, so we got the... Uh, thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Um, so we got the uh, thingamabobber. And now... Oh, objective complete. So we still have to go and buy ale at the tavern. The tavern is E. Now, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure that the game at this point is setting me up. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, that the game is basically sending uh, poor Henry here to the tavern with charcoal and a cross guard. A very expensive cross guard, by the way. Uh, knowing full well that I'm going to get distracted by um, uh, my my lady friend. And will help. Your fields lie fallow. Here's a hoe. Need straw for the winter? Then you'll need a rake. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, never mind. Let's just wait a minute. Come on up and buy. Is it? Oh, it's through here. Okay. Oh, it's wow, very fancy. Oh, 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 we're in the tavern. Oh, it's an outdoor tavern. Ooh. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, Henry. To I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsches spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik 
is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund. And don't forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Oh, no. Doesn't he, Fritz? Two are my few. Oh, oh, God, no. Proper hiding. No. Are you mad? No, 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 no. Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Oh, God. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. <laughs> no, but jeez. Doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratic sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Oh. Are you with us? They're going to make me pick, aren't they? They're going to make me pick. Oh. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, all right? This is what I'm talking about. Going to the tavern can... Okay, maybe it wasn't Bianca, but what's the next best thing? Yeah, my friends. That's right. My friends are roping me in to do something. Fine. Oh, well. <laughs> Father can wait a while. <laughs> my words exactly. I knew you wouldn't I'm going to regret this. Let's go. Uh, okay. Where are we going? Oh, I... The Western Schism. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of politics going on here. So there's the whole Wenceslas the Idol uh, being deposed by Sigismund uh, because of complaints by some of the lords and all of that sort of stuff. Oh my goodness. I, I you know... There's some... Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, he's got a very pretty... There's a late... There's someone here. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, guys, what's going on? I'm not throwing the first. No, you, no. So are we doing this or not? Wait, we have to check that the coast is clear. It's not, what? there's someone standing, Deutsch sitting in front in the of the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Yes. Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Oh, God. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, this is... Okay, so we've discussed the plan. Oh, my God. <sighs> All right. What do you want, lad? All right. Okay. I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. He's being what honest. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exceptions, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the popes! He might have mentioned the popes, too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Okay. All right. All right. This is not so bad. He didn't lie. He. It was the absolute truth. Oh, man. Am I going to have to... Oh. Okay. Oh, we're going to... Oh. Oh, this is bad. I can't believe we're doing this. Oh, yeah. Me first? Right. No, how, why am I the one what doing are you it first? For, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! Okay. For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun! 
<laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. Oh. That's for Sigismund. I can't believe I got sucked into this. Woohoo! Eat shit. See, Eat I shit. know this is wrong. You bastards! Oh, God. What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hans. No. Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, sons! I'll make those smites off your faces! Oh, oh, boy. I'd like to see you try. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Oh, God. Oh. Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. No, don't, 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 no. Oh, God. No, okay, okay. <laughs> no, this escalated. <laughs> We're escalating. Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I don't know why I get myself. I, okay, I think I've made a mistake. <laughs> An armed combat. Oh, good grief. All right, so left mouse but button is the hook. Strong, slower hand, strike to the head. Right mouse button is jab. Direct hand, blow to the face. F is kick. Tab is lock on opponent. And left shift is unlock. Oh my goodness, this is more complicated than I thought. And Q is block. R raises your hands in defense. Okay. All right. All right. I'm. You know what? We're just gonna do it. What's the worst that could happen? We're gonna get our asses handed to us. Oh my god. Uh. All right. So, but hook, jab. Okay. Last two wings. <laughs> okay, back off, back off, back off. I'll slaughter. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's, is he? Okay, nope, that's it. I'm done. Fuck it. <laughs> what are you doing? For God's sake, stop right now. Yeah. The catch pole is on his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here. Run, run, run. Okay, we're going this way, apparently. <laughs> Let's get out of here. No. <laughs> oh, a, f a fast travel point. <laughs> Meet the lads at Kunesh's. All right. Okay. Uh, I, I, you know what? Okay, this was only supposed to take a moment. And I've been, this is, this is taken much longer than I thought. I have important stuff on me, guys. I can't. I can't get in trouble, okay? I don't know if, all right, right, right. Hang on, before, let's, if I hit J. Okay, that actually does pause. All right, all right. Uh, okay, so that is optional. I think we've done our duty. We have, we were there for our friends. Um, I think that, that, you know what? They'll, they'll forgive me. I think we're good. So we're gonna go buy an ale at the tavern and we're gonna go and, do what we need to do with dad because this is we promised and uh as fun as this was as fun as this was i think we do need to actually get a few things a uh, few things done that's correct so let's go and let's go buy the ale and uh which is of course where we're going to go and talk to bianca which means we're going to get our, Welcome, our another honey. distraction this is man this is okay oh my goodness all right uh wait a minute where was the Oh, it's over here, I think. Red buttons, laces. Come, people, come. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go into... Uh, is this it? No. Okay, Deutsch's wife. Okay, no, we're good. Oh, here's the... Is this, is this it over here? Sorry. Oh, here we are. Okay, how do where do I get Oh, that's the charcoal burner. How, where do I buy ale? Her? Oh, that's Bianca. Okay. Hang on. Oh, it's it's not lighting up. Hang on. Oh, 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 we got an E. There we go. Well Save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. Oh, she's what cute. What brings you here? Uh, 
Okay, we're you know what, Ale. Um, we're going to be honest. We we have already done enough today. Just Ale. God be with you, Henry. What else could I expect from a village lout? <laughs> what okay. will it be then, ragamuffin? Okay, she took it well. Uh, a pitcher for father. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? I hope I have enough. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. (laughs) But of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. (laughs) You can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. (laughs) (laughs) I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Maniac. I suppose. Uh... He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name Oh, he's the one who's probably teaching it? me sword fighting. He promised to teach me how to yep. use a sword. Yep. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. All How? right. I've got something special for oh, you. Oh, boy. Is that oh, safe? Oh, no. Uh, now, what would no, that no, be? No, 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 no. Your favorite, Savior oh! Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. <laughs> the subtext. Good to you, oh, Henry. five Savior Schnapps. Oh. All right, saving the game. The game saves automatically important moments during quests and when you sleep uh, in your own bed. To save immediately, drink, save your snaps. I'm going to need this because I'm doing a series and I and I have to be able to break this up into segments. Uh, so that's actually really handy. So I'm quite happy about that. I just walked through a bunch of nettles. <laughs> How are you, Henry? All right, let's go up and uh, let's give our, cell, our, our stuff to dear old dad and uh, so that we can... We can redeem our, ourselves in his eyes because, uh, you know, I tell you, there's uh, you can get away with a lot, but um, disappointing your family uh, or your parents, that's definitely something that is difficult to handle. So let's go and uh, let's let's go make things right. There we go. Hey, Dad. Uh, about the things you wanted. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I did. Oh. Not yet? Wait. Not yet. I'm working on it. And how much longer will it take? Get a move on. We have to finish that Whoa. sword today. Oh. Or do you want me to look a fool? Did I make a mistake? I think I must have screwed up. No, I don't. I'll be back soon. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's take a look at the journal and see what we've uh, what we didn't do. Um my inventory has mm, all of items. Okay, so I needed to get. Wait a minute. I thought I got charcoal. There it is. I have ten charcoal, don't I? Isn't that ten? Uh oh, right. Let's get rid of. The... Oh, there we go. We've got ten charcoal, and then we've got a cross guard for the new sword. Wow, that thing's worth six hundred. Ooh, I gotta be super careful. What am I missing? I have to go and meet the boys, don't I? It says it's optional, though. Uh, hang on a minute. Go sword fighting. Main quest. Unexpected visit. All right. Okay, okay. You know what? We're going to go and do our sword fighting lesson. Uh, or, you know, let's go meet the boys. We've Yeah, what the heck? Why not? Actually, you know what? I think this is a good place to stop. So let's try out the save your snaps. Um, let's see here. Food, save your snaps. Okay. Um, I guess I just eat it. There we go. Game saved. All right. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. <laughs> Hopefully this was interesting. It actually turned out to be kind of fun because, uh, um, you know, the decisions you have to make. And I really, you know, I honestly did struggle between uh, whether I want to back up my friends um, and something that obviously was going to get me into trouble. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I should have more faith in Henry because uh, he actually, he was able to distract the wife without actually lying to her. It, what he said, it was perfectly honest because that's exactly what he was doing. 
And uh, yeah, so he just used the truth. So good on you, Henry. You're a good dude. All right. I think this is a good place to stop. I hope you like this. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where I guess we figure out what, uh, well, <laughs> either we're going to go and learn some swordsmanship or we're going to go talk to our buds down at uh, Kunesh's place. So, all right. Bye-bye. Thank you.